Well, good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. here in Florida, and we are up and about. We're just in the car, just waiting for mum and dad. And then we are off to Universal. We're going to Islands of Adventure this morning for when it opens at 9 a.m. Yep. So we're giving ourselves a good hour to get down the I-4, get parked, get walked through city walks, make sure we're at the gate for nine. Uh, we're going to try and get mum's favourite ride done, which is Hagrid. So we might have to just wait an hour or so for that. That's fine. Want to get try and get Dad on Velocity Coaster as well if we can. Yeah, she'll be able to. Hopefully, uh, and then the plan is for like a little bit of a brunch, lunch, breakfast, maybe today cafe across in Universal. We do like today cafe, don't we? Uh, it was nice that toasty we had last time. It was, was lovely, really wasn't good, it? Yeah, just it was three cheeses and one of them had just a bit of spice in it, didn't it? Yeah, it was. I think it was the pepper jack cheese. Yeah. Um, and then there was loads of different pastries that I know mum would like. So we did say at the time, mum and dad would love it in here. Uh, and then from there, we are going to Epcot. We're going to get ourselves in. And um, we're not obviously, we won't be park hopping because we're doing Universal, then Disney. So that'll just be our first park, we'll be Epcot. Uh, the problem is, if you park hop, you can't go in till after two o'clock. And they release the Guardians of the Galaxy tickets at one o'clock so you've got to be in the park so we're going to be in there for one o'clock try and get those guardians of the galaxy tickets and uh, then from there we'll maybe try and do frozen while we wait for our return time uh, for our boarding group however you call it and then just see what happens we have also got a live stream today at half past six uk time half one america time so i'll leave the link to that in the description if you want to catch up on that but it looks like mum and dad are here, so let's let's get fired up and uh, get going. So Laura's turn today. It is. With your preferred pass, with your free parking. My turn, yeah. So do you. You enjoy yourself. I will, yeah. Feel special? Always. We're on the very top deck of Spider-Man 652. Good news is that there is the security check, so we're quite far in to the escalators. So we've just got to go down some levels, and then we'll be heading in. It's now made good time in getting here, but the parking was slow. It's now 20 to 9. We were uh, at the Universal Gate by 20 past, but well, not that quick, getting parked up. Do you love the sound of the music of Islands of Adventure as you walk in? Got my pass ready to go. It's, uh, it just looks like they've opened up early as well. We're here at quarter to nine and uh, they're letting people in already, so it has opened a little bit early as well by the looks of it. So we're just uh, taking a little bit of a shortcut through Zeus Landing. See Velocity Coaster running over there. It's going to be a busy, busy day because it is a Sunday. But we couldn't get in any earlier than we have. Hopefully, we'll get a few bits done. We're not planning on doing absolutely loads in here this morning. Those two key rides would be nice to get done if we can. No chance with Hagrid's 160 minutes already. Uh, so no chance, so we're gonna try and do Velocity Coaster instead. This one is so efficient. The wait time doesn't get super high like Hagrid's. This is a lot more efficient, I think. So, give this one a whirl. So, mum and dad never done this. You excited? Nervous? Bit of both. Bit of both. Mum's seen the drop and is uh, a bit scared now. You'll be fine. It's not a big drop. I think you'll you'll both love it. It's so smooth, isn't it? It's nice. Right. Yeah. You got your uh, themed uh, little vest on today. There you go. Bit of uh, Jurassic vibes going on there. 
Yeah, I look forward to this one. It'll definitely uh, wake us all up, that's for sure. We're all a bit tired this morning. We'll be awake after this. Well, we got row two and three. I absolutely loved it. I'm certainly awake now. Laura loved it as well. Mum and Dad, I did think they would enjoy it. Did not. Verdict? Too intense. Whoa. Too intense I'm, for Mum. I'm glad I've done it, but yeah. it's, it's too intense for me. Dad, I thought you'd enjoy it. Well, as age is creeping on here, yeah, that is very intense. Very intense, do you I think? I thought I was falling out of it three times. It's very really good. Right. Did you like the bit where you go upside down over water? <laughs> All right, what bit did you like? It's none of it. None of it. <laughs> when it came back into the station. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, you went upside down over the lake there, like right over it, like you were going to go in, like, like your head was, was going to go in the water. <laughs> so a bit too intense, okay? Too intense. Okay, but you like the theming as well, though. You did enjoy the queue line and that, didn't you? I mean, it was, the build-up's great, but then when you realise... I'm, I'm glad so. I've done it. You've got to really relax, I'd say, when you get on it. I did tell oh, these to yeah, try and relax as best as you I can in the seat. I accelerated out the station <laughs> and then <laughs> hit a hill and went upside down. I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we could go and do a chilled Harry Potter now if you want. Okay. Just stay and watch Next up, as mum and dad find their heads, we're gonna do Kong. A lot more chilled. <laughs> That's what you uh, you look like after Velocity Coaster. We're gonna go on this, nice and chilled. It's not a long wait this at this hour. Ten minutes. My favourite machines, you know, I love these. It's changed since last time. You don't get coins anymore. It's all done by card. So, uh, step one, identify your blaster, put your credit card in, and then press the button to activate the blaster. Uh, Price-wise, I'm not sure, it doesn't say, but I'm definitely having a go. It's, it's worth the, the, the dollars for me to have a good go on this. And I believe it was number four that was one of the best sprayers number four and also it was this one here number three was it I'm trying to think which one was brutal i think it was number three we've used contactless card it's a dollar so it's a bit more expensive we're going to go to the free barges in a bit anyway but i do want a few goes on this i love it it's one of my favorite things to do so you've got to wait till they come on this side don't do it yet dad Number one rule, you can't do ponchos, you've got to do someone who's, you know, going to be absolutely soaked. Look at these here, they don't want to be wet, do they? I'm going to give it to these, let's have it. Way, get on it. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> First one, right in the face. Come on, seriously? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you don't go on this ride and expect not to get wet. You've seen, they're soaked. It's not like you get wet. So you get two goes on the button for a dollar. It's not bad. It's not it's not as easy as it used to be with the coins. I like you know the fun of the coins and that, but great fun that I love it. We're gonna head to the barges. I want to have a go on the guns on the barges, which are free. Well, I hope so. Hope they're still free. But it's one of my favourite things to do here. That love it. And if you do it. Make sure you post up some, if you do it, take a video or some pictures, post it in the Night Strider fan group on Facebook, uh, the Florida fan group, 
I love watching it. I love watching you do it. If you do it, get a picture, post it up. I love seeing it. When I'm in work, I'm like, oh yeah, I wish I was there. I'm just gonna head up to the barges. It's a little bit more in the shade, the barges as well. So this is where the little spray guns are and you can get people on Popeye. This is the Me Ship the Olive. I'm there. Uh, I do like it up here. Dad's gonna love this. If it's as good as it was, love this. Look at me, I've done Velocicoaster, Rise of the Resistance, and this is what's got me most excited. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great views of Velocicoaster from here as well. Mum and Dad couldn't understand that they'd gone upside down over water. So I'm gonna point it out to them now because you can see it very clearly here, just where they went upside down and what they did on that ride. Mum and Dad's heads just went. Just my luck. It's uh, they're off, closed. I don't know whether they're not working or they're removing them. Just as I made my video showing you all how to have fun, they put up the prices, put card machines on them and closed these. So there we go. No fun for us up here. One of my favorite things to do that was. Took it all away. I know, why? I know, it's after my video that. <laughs> I did a whole video on these spray guns and those things. Start charging, yeah, probably start charging. It's a shame. It's just take everything away and everything's got to be pay, pay, pay. Hope they do reopen for free. Kids love them. Great view of the Hulk from here. And then there's Velocicoaster there going around. Mum and Dad just watching exactly what happens. This bit here, if you come back, come here. That's the bit where you go over the water upside down. You're going to see it in a second. You go right over the water, look, here we go. Upside down. Ha, ha. You did that. You did that. Right over the water. Okay, so we just got our annual pass magnets, our mummy themed ones, and we got them here in Islands of Adventure this time, because I did read on the annual pass holders group on Facebook that they were out of them in Universal yesterday. So we came and got them here, which is just opposite the Betty Boop store, uh, just here. So that was handy. For all the good editor sleeps, and neither does his staff. There you go, Laura. So just got a quick picture there. I'm heading to Spider Man for a little cool off in the aircon. The temperature has ramped right up, same time as yesterday 10 15, and we are really starting to soar now with those temperatures. Betty Boop over there, and Popeye for a little picture opportunity. So it's Spider-Man on the way out and then it's a bit of a chill in today cafe. I certainly need it. I certainly need a coffee as well, yeah. for sure. Just met some lovely subscribers there, came and said hello. Uh, it was their last day today. I hope you're having a great time. If you are around and you do see us anywhere, it doesn't matter where, always come and say hello. It's great to meet you all uh, and have a chat. So it was uh, great to meet them. Here we go then, it's a cheeky Spidey. Cheeky Spidey. Do you know what the spider signal means? Danger. No. Trouble ahead. ahead. Headlines. National coverage. <laughs> so, just as we wait, I'm just checking the wait times for some of the rides, and uh, Hagrid's has dropped to a 60 minute wait. So, it's like we said, everyone goes straight there when it first opens, and then it does quieten off. So it's down to an hour wait now. That's a wait, more wait now. So it's dropped by a hundred minutes in an hour. So definitely don't go there straight away. I'd just wait and go a little bit later in the morning or even the afternoon. Hello, this is Jonah Jameson. Roger, over. Is this thing on? Listen, Scoop. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city and I'm starting to get worried. Did you see that? The spider signal. There's Spider-Man nearby. Trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines! National coverage! So don't screw this up! So we're having a walk over to Universal Studios now because we're going to go to the Today Cafe. So we thought we'd uh, take Paul and Lydia to try it because we think they'll love it. So we're going to go over there and I'm going to go and get me cheese toasty. We've had a really good day in the park. We've done three rides, is it? We've only been here an hour and a half. So yeah, we've done really well. We've done Kong, 
we've done raptors, whatever, velocicoaster, that's the Spider-Man. one, and Spider Man. Our annual pass magnets. We've got our annual pass magnets. We've had a busy morning actually. Have you yeah. two so, got an annual pass? Yeah, did you know? Yeah. No. Yeah, got an annual pass. So yeah, we're um, going to go walk over just because the Hogwarts train can take a, a little while. So we're just walking over, um, then go sit in the cafe. I'm going to get a cheese toast that I like. And yeah, have a little relax, sit down there for a bit because we need a little break now. It's getting hot. We'll be back. So yeah, so we'll see you when we're over there. How much did they um, pay you to model your face? A lot. It's a beautiful face as well. Look at it. Look at it, it's beautiful. So as we walk across, I'm just going to show you some of the lovely views that we've got along here. Chocolate Emporium, Hard Rock Cafe. I just like the view across the lake from here. You've got all the resort boats pulling up, the Universal Ball the other side. Nice views across here. I just wish there was a little bit more seating around for people to come out and just have a chill. You've got a few benches, but it'd be nice to have a little bit more seating in my opinion there's not enough seating around in these parks for people who want to break like mum and dad who just want to sit they've got their water they've got their drink they just need somewhere to sit that's in the shade and it's, it's very difficult so something to bear in mind if you you think you're going to need regular breaks or you're not super fit super able bear in mind that seating around is scarce and the majority of it is in the full sun so Bring yourself a hat, cap, plenty of sun cream, and just sort of plan your breaks if you can. The Margaritaville Plain. I'm, I'm so ready for coffee. They do a caramel latte in here, don't they? It's Which we got last nice time. Starbucks, it, it was nice, I remember last time. It's nicer than a Costa. Oh, way nicer than a Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Costa fans will be after us in the comments. we are today cafe lovely and cool in here and i tell you what it's nice and quiet as well let's have a look at some of the cakes we've got going on here so you've got salads sandwiches it's the big apple cheese i get but without the apple so it's basically just a cheese toasty uh, you've got croissants breakfast croissants uh, cinnamon rolls s'mores croissant look at that and then you've got other cakes here halloween treats as well by the looks of it Chocolate tart, Oreo puff, key lime tart, the eclair I think I had last time was stunning. And then you've got a uh, Halloween themed cake there as well. Came in at the right time, it has gone quite busy now. Just waiting for our big apples. Yeah. That's what they call the toasties. And Laura's gotten a gluten free one as well. Uh, everything did come to $75 in total. That's like three big apples, a, a bagel, all these treats here as well. Thank you. And uh, we did get $8 off with our annual pass, which is pretty good going. I'll take them outside, Laura. The technology was handled really well. The chefs actually made it personally and brought it out, which is really good. Uh, other than that, it's very chaotic in here. Very chaotic. So we're just enjoying our coffees. I've got my caramel latte, which is very nice to be fair. It is a good caramel latte. Woofed the eclair and the toast, as you can see. Dad's gonna try a little bit of Laura's chocolate mocha now. Laura, not feeling the mocha? I've fallen out. I've had fruit cup toasty and a raspberry, whatever it is. Pure greed. Greed, Laura. Right, go on, you're having Laura's coffee then, Dad. So chocolate mocha coffee. Frank? Why? What's up with it? Frank, you don't put chocolate in coffee. Why not? It's have a hot chocolate. Right? <laughs> what's that all about? You don't want it then? Oh, I've said before, what's the one chocolate that's left in the tray box? What's the one no one wants? You're right for through all the strawberry, orange, nutty ones. The coffee. No way. 
Now, when I was a kid, if my mum got milk tray, the only one I was ever offered was the coffee one. Because no one else wanted it. See, so you're not going to have that then? No, I'm not going to have that. Laura, you're very well finished. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it. Yeah, she likes it. Yeah, she likes it. So we are heading out now and we are off to Epcot. We're gonna get in there half 11 now. That gives us an hour to get in. And we wanna be near a cast member and make sure we try and get this return time for Guardians if we can. And then we've got our YouTube live stream as well. So a busy couple of hours ahead, but we are now leaving Universal. A few, quite a few people leaving, saying the same things, just so hot they're gonna go back and chill by the pool at the hotel and things escape this searing heat so we're leaving spider-man now it is boiling hot going on to epcot now how are you feeling paul I'm, i feel like I've, i'm just crippled with the crippled. heat with the the intensity of the rides i tell you if i was a, if i was a one if i was a one of these uh, marvel uh, characters. characters i'd be cripple man <laughs> and I would do anything a cripple can. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm done. Take me home. A little break now, and then a nice little live, and then we're done. And then we've got Cosmic Rewind. Hopefully, St if we can get hopefully. a pass. Stop Which is the... just as intense as Velocicoaster. Oh, great. <laughs> it's not an easy one, this one. Stop the world, I want to get off. <laughs> So, question for everyone, including the viewers. We've just paid our $25 to park at Epcot. Now I'm going to give each of you one window booth for the day. And all of the money is yours from the parking, yeah? Which window booth park are you going for? So Magic you can, you can, Kingdom. You can, you, you can take a booth of parking for the day, and all of the money at the end of the day is yours. Which park are you going to go? Are you going to take an Epcot booth? Are you going to take a Magic Kingdom booth? An Animal King? Which one do you think you'd get the most cars through and get the most money? I That's would a question take for you. A Universal booth. Really? Universal? Well, yeah. We're going Disney, but you know, alright. Mum's picked Universal then. Well, that's oh, a bit I unfair because it's right, three I parks see. in Universal okay, for one, right. so you for were, one car park. You were talking specifically Disney. Yes. Which one Which one of the four parks are you taking your boo with that? I'm just going to go Magic Kingdom, although I've got a feeling that most people stay in the um, accommodation for Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I would say Magic Kingdom. I'm going to change it to Epcot, I think Epcot. You think Epcot? Yeah. I might go Hollywood Studios. The one you'd think would be Animal Kingdom because it's not connected with the gondolas. It's not, not many hotels around it. But when you park at Animal Kingdom, it never seems busy. No, but I think Epcot because a lot more residents come here to just do the food and wine. It's a tough question. Let me know in the comments, guys. Which park would you take? Which booth? Let me know in the comments. And there you go, we've got Lucky, end of a row. Oh, nice. Just for you, and you've still got to walk though. No trams, got to save that diesel. No trams, you've got to walk in the 91 degree heat to the park. 91. Yeah. Oh, we are heading in. This was the bit I mentioned a bit earlier, no trams. Everyone's got to track in. And for the likes of mum and dad, it's very hot. And they need to conserve as much energy as they can for walking around the park. I think it's a little bit unfair. You don't half expect a lot of you. Yeah, for the money you're paying to get in, get the trams back on. I just don't understand it at all. So by the time we get in, we're going to be dripping wet and knackered. So a few of you will point out that, you know, well, you walk from the car park to into Universal. Why can't you walk from here into the car park? The big difference is Universal is A, in shelter as you're walking in, and B, you've got the moving walkways, which really do help. This is searing full heat, no moving walkways, and it's a big difference, big difference. So, I know people will say, well, you walk into Universal, but there's a big difference there, main thing being shade. There's no shade in this car park as you're walking in, and nothing, you know, moving walkways to help you along. I just, I think it's wrong especially when you're used to it i suppose if you're new to the park you wouldn't you wouldn't know any difference you just walk in that's normal but you know we're used to 
know, getting on that little bit of, you know, face, it used to be the first ride of the day, you'd get on the tram and, you know, tram dive driver would do the little beep and things. None of that anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain a little bit about Guardians of the Galaxy here. What you need to do is make sure yeah, you've got your everything linked on the My Disney Experience app. Then you go on the home section. It's gonna come up like this with your name. Scroll down to virtual queue, join virtual queue. Then you wanna confirm your party. So confirm. And now we're gonna just gotta wait. And the minute this hits one o'clock, you just gotta keep hitting refresh. Minute it comes up, bang, get in there and get it. So we will record doing that at the time, but it's good to have this up. You've confirmed your party. That's all of us here, my mum and dad and everything. And once we get a little bit closer to one o'clock, I'm going to be hitting refresh. Tap refresh at one o'clock to launch joining process. I'm going to start hitting that refresh at about probably 12.59. Just keep refresh and then it should come up. Join and then just press join as quick as you can. So that's where we're up to at this point, just to help you out. Uh, they do have this same process at 7 a.m. You don't have to be in the park. But when I tried the other day, there was no chance. I didn't even get to this section uh, with the 7 a.m. one. So looking a bit more hopeful just now. But I will tune back in and keep you updated with how this works. But just so you know, that's how to get to this point uh, that we're at just now. Okay, so we don't want to risk doing any rides and not being available on the app at 1 o'clock. I've just spoken to Guest Relations and they did say, don't go on early. Don't go on at 12.58 or 12.59. Go on at one o'clock. Because if you go early, all it's going to do is say, ride not available yet. So that's the tip so far. And once we've actually done it, I will give you more advice on what actually happened and how it worked to try and help you out. The lady did say as well in Guest Relations that it should be a good drop of return times this afternoon because there hasn't been much downtime uh, this week. She said there's been loads of downtime, uh, which means they haven't been able to release many return times in the afternoons. They've had mega trouble with it this week, but she said today um, the ride is behaving well. So there should be a good drop this afternoon is what she said. There should be a good amount. So just bear that in mind, if it's having troubles, they're not going to release many virtual queue lines, which they've had mega trouble with this week, she said. So I do like that. I like the one on the left and I like the Mickey Bar one. If you're a Mickey Bar fan, this has to be your lounge fly, 100%. Just having a mooch around, Laura's looking for some uh, earrings that she's seen on a cast member. One thing to bear in mind is some of the things you'll see people wearing, some lovely ears, things like that. A lot of them will be from Etsy and not from the official Disney stores, which is quite nice because you're supporting a, a local person, a small business, Etsy, yeah. yeah. But just bear that in mind, some of the earrings, particularly the ears, a lot of these ears people wear, some of them are customised or very special designs from Etsy, not from in Disney itself. So Laura saw these lovely Space Mountain earrings, but I don't think they are Disney. I think they are uh, from Etsy or an online store. I'm going to ask what do all the viewers think of this new Lightyear movie to me I'm just I'm not feeling it at all I don't understand this weird cat but I've seen the advert and I'm, I'm just not feeling it I'm not feeling it don't don't ruin Toy Story on us but some of you may be excited I'm, I'm just not I'm not even gonna watch it I just don't think it looks very good personally I just prefer my straight-up original Toy Story movies I don't feel like I need any more spin-offs but let me know your thoughts in the comments it's interesting i just love all the original give me all the original toy story i just don't think we need any more spin-offs i think it starts to taint what was originally very very good don't fix what ain't broke in my opinion store is massive well we just met some lovely viewers there from virginia from yeah. USA, wow, first Americans to come and say hello. Lovely wow. to meet you guys if you're watching. Yeah, all the way down there are doing the same as us. They're gonna be out one o'clock, clicking that app. It's just yeah. a, such a magical experience, yeah. clicking that app. I hope if we get it, I'll be made up. Along with about really a do thousand other people it. clicking. Oh, more than a thousand. <laughs> Some nice Guardians merch here. If you are a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, I do like that. That is particular to Epcot as well. It's got the Epcot ball on 
and the glass uh, the glass statue so if you're uh, this is quite nice as well somewhere in your house in the kitchen or something it's quite discreet but clever Groot there Groot. Aura, yeah. found a really nice hat I love this guy's hat but I would say it's it's a little bit cheesy a <laughs> little bit of a cheesy hat that don't you think a little bit cheesy for the park a little bit if any of you've been to florida before you will know the sky writer he's up there it looks like it was jesus loves a all probably gonna be but he's been here for years and years even when i was a kid this sky writer was up yeah right above the parks been here for many many years Normally God loves you or Jesus loves you, uh, normally is it's the one. So we're currently trying to get... We got it. Oh, we got it. We Woo! got it. Okay, there so we, we are group 142. They are now currently boarding 70 to 83. So our potential wait is 310 minutes. <gasps> now, key thing that we did, uh, Laura had on this phone that she's recording on, uh, the ticking down exact second clock. So I was on the app and I clicked join virtual queue at two seconds past one. We did it a slightly different way. I did it the way that the lady in guest relations told me to do it. So we made sure our party was all in there like I showed you earlier. Then what we did on the app, go on this section here and we went on virtual queues and we sat here with this page open. It says you haven't joined any virtual queues yet. Waited for it to go to bang on one, then I click join virtual queue and it came up with Guardians of the Galaxy and then you press join. So that's the way we did it. I didn't do it this way on the home screen here. The lady in guest relations said to do it that way. And here we are, group 142, party of four, and I am made up. Let's go and tell them that we're in. We've got a Disney duck here saying hello to Laura. And unfortunately, Laura's got nothing for the Disney duck. But I'm sure the Disney duck does very well throughout the day. We've got this nice view here of uh, World Showcase and we're going to start our live stream very shortly but yeah Disney ducks Disney birds chilling out they've got their own little private beach there <laughs> Laura's feeling sorry for the little duck he's pretty healthy Laura I don't think he's hard done by don't worry no you can have a bit of Powerade if you want a bit of Powerade no do you want to snowman Good ride. It was good, that. Really Enjoyed good. it. Yeah, yeah. I like the backwards bit. I like the drop that was coming. Yeah, well, it was good, that. We've got yeah. some of the sweets and chocolate from Norway here. Mum's just ironing up the Norway ears. Thinking of treating yourself there, Mum. I don't know. It's a bit late like the Just stay in here then. <laughs> okay, so just checking back in. We've headed towards Space 220. Now, my dad is a huge space fan, uh, Apollo fan, NASA, all of that loves space, the space program. 
Uh, when we came and ate in here on our vlog uh, back in November, if you want to see that vlog, it is on our November trip. Uh, we ate in here and Dad said, oh, it looks amazing, I'd love to go. So I said, why not just try and come up here for a drink? Don't have to eat, we don't have to spend, you know, it's good money to eat in there. Uh, when I come up for just a drink. So we're sort of waiting around. The problem with Guardians is when you've got your uh, boarding group, you can leave the park, but the problem is, depending on how the ride is functioning, if they've got any downtime, your slot can go up or down in time. It can jump very quickly. So on the app just now, it says that we've got 160 minutes to go. But what the lady said was, if it's going well, you could tune back in in half an hour and it might say your group is expected in 15 minutes. It can jump up and down. So we don't want to leave the park, but we want to break and to escape into some air con. So we're going to manage to have a drink in Space 220. We just walked up, we said, can we get in the bar? He said, I can get you in the bar now. So look at him racing in, look, it's the quickest he's walked all day. So we're going to head into Space 220 just for a drink. Now this is a very unique restaurant, space themed. I'm going to show you as best as I can without ruining too much for you, uh, but it is very special up there. Well, you excited, Dad? Yeah, Managed yeah, to get you in absolutely. for a drink? To a space station. You're going to get the full experience of just having a drink, not food. Yeah. That's the only difference. I'm not hungry. No. I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah, I could definitely do with a drink in some aircon. Well, you're going to some serious dizzy heights to get some air conditioning. Here we go. Elevate your dining. We're going to be going so high, Dad, you're going to be freezing. Got his boarding pass. Show us your boarding pass. When I was a go. kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah. This is the nearest I'm ever going to get. It is. <laughs> and you get a drink when you get there. I get a drink. Okay, here we go. This is our special lift. It's going to take us up to the space station. Got to look down. Oh, nice. And also make sure you look up as well when we get going. Here we go. Space station now. Whoa. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Moonwalk. <laughs> Thank you. Just look to your left here, Dad. You got some uh, veggies being grown. <laughs> We're heading into the restaurant. Now, there's a few different sections of the restaurant. Uh, you've got this upper deck here, you've got the lower deck in front of the windows or screens, and then you've got the bar here as well. So, we're going to be at a bar table, I think. We're just going to follow our lady who's taking us to our seat. We've just got the moon coming up here. Uh, looks like mum and dad might go for some of the waffles. So you can actually have a snack. I didn't think we we're going to be eating, but we, I didn't think we could have a snack, but we can. So I've said to dad to go for the chicken and waffles, which are nice. Here is the full menu just here.
So, what have you got, Lydia? Planetary punch. What's in that? Blue curacao. The card is silver. The card is Malibu, I think. Yeah. A very cocoa drink for you. I have gone for a planetary pink lemonade, which has got vodka in it, strawberry in it, strawberry lemonade, simple syrup, very nice. And Paul has gone for a beer and in the very corner there, a prosecco. A little cheeky prosecco, just a cheeky one. Just a little cheeky one. It'll have to be just the one, not cheap. Well, I've never thought I'd ever go to space in my lifetime. There you go. Am, so I'm celebrating. Cheers to that. I wanted to be Neil Armstrong when I was nine years old. I wanted to walk on the moon. So, so cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is lovely. It's a nice prosecco, that. So, you two have went for the chicken and waffles. So, this is a corn waffle with fried chicken on top and a honey glaze isn't it? Yeah, I think there's some bacon in there. Oh somewhere. and some smoky bacon there you go for nice oh. there you go I'll let Lydia dig into his and then we'll ask what your verdict is. What's your verdict Lydia? Delicious. Absolutely really delicious. good. Is that yeah. chicken nice and soft yeah, and that waffle Good, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. Nice. But white tender chicken. Really nice. Verdict, what did you think? Brilliant. Yeah? Brilliant. That's what Everything we had came to $100. That was a few drinks and... Uh, drinks and a little snack for mum and I, Amazing which was delicious, by the way. And you did get loads of free water. Yes. They kept coming yeah. around with free ice and water, didn't they? they did look after us, and they did give yeah. us a full experience. What, and just like, have a nice day. It was like, safe. Yeah, there was no rush. And... They brought the bill, and we're like, no rush, chill. We chilled for another 20-odd minutes after they brought the bill. Yeah. yeah. Amazing experience. Good Wi-Fi in there too. I even uploaded a YouTube video from there. Uh, and right now, we're going to pop over to Test Track because the wait time is low. So we're going to pop just across to Test Track and have some fun on there. Let's go. Well, as is often the case with Test Track, it's uh, gone down, experiencing technical difficulties. So we are coming off and uh, leaving the queue line. It's a very, very temperamental ride, that one it really is. So uh, that is now off the list. So we'll uh, probably just have a little mooch around and hang on. We're just waiting for our Guardians of the Galaxy return time in about 30 minutes or so. So I'll probably have a little look in a couple of the shops, kill some time. With Test Track down and 30 minutes to go, we're going to head into Club Cool and I want to get Dad to try, and Mum as well, some of the different Coca-Cola products from around the world, which it should be good. You've got the drummers here on the bins having a good time. And it's gone a little bit cooler as the sun's gone in. Let's see if we can get in Club Cool.
So first one dad's gonna try is a bit of Beverly from Italy. Let's give dad a little bit of Beverly. See if you like some Beverly. Give mum a sip as well, so don't drink it all. <laughs> it's a no for Beverly. Okay, now let's try some Madagascar. Madagascar. Okay. You're on the cup and drinks, Juicy Laura. That's okay. That's okay, the Madagascar, okay. Now we're gonna try Country Club, which is from the Dominican Republic. Okay, Country Club. Is this not all gonna like mix up in the snow? No, you gotta country? try them all. Gotta try them all. As a, as a cocktail. Come on. Then we've got Korea and apple lychee. Apple lychee from Korea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> come on, come on. You gotta get trying these. Come on. <laughs> got royal watermelon here. We're making a lot of way along. Save that one till the end. That one's royal. <laughs> Come on, royal. Come oh, on, no. Russian. <laughs> Oh, well, you haven't any. <laughs> Go on. Come on, you got to try some of the Russian Sprite. It tastes like swizzles. It tastes like swizzles. It's cucumber. It's got cucumber in it. That's okay. I okay. Like cucumber. So next one we're going to try is the Viva. Moldova. This is from Moldova. This one. <laughs> yeah. All right with that one. <laughs> right, come on. You've got one more to go after this, then, right. then I'll buy you a drink. 20 minutes ago, I was supping in two trains in Space Station. <laughs> nice Prosecco. Now I'm supping anything from all over the bloody show. Come on, you got one more after this. But <laughs> now we've got China. This one's nice. This one, like, you got to have a good mouthful of this one to make it, honestly, you will like it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's like... That was, that was the, the China which is sour plum flavour, it, sour it, plum. It's actually blended hot Well, dog. in China, they, they buy that as a nice soft drink. Oh, oh that's like that Mexican itch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got here. We're just gonna hang on for our virtual line, but just the facade and the building itself is very impressive. Very impressive, the design of the building goes perfectly for Epcot. Next to the Epcot ball is very futuristic. Love the design so far. There's uh, plenty of uh, people getting their pictures outside it as well. Excited for this one, Mum? I am actually, yeah. You sure? Because you said that about Velocicoaster yeah. and then I know, it was a bit of a disaster for that you. It was a bit of 50-50. I could have really loved Velocicoaster or I could have hated it and I just felt a spot of rain. Well, it is looking pretty black behind you. So we're very close, they're calling 125 to 140. We're in the next group, which is 142, which will be probably 141 to whatever number. I'm excited. So we're next batch, about 15 minutes away. I'm excited to do something that you two haven't done. Oh no, either. never, never. We're, we're, I'm really excited to get on. I don't know what song we're gonna get. You get, there's an option of seven songs. You never know yeah. what one you're gonna get. It could be Earth, Wind and Fire. There's a few options. Right. Everybody wants to rule the world. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's random, but yeah, I'm excited. Very excited. Looks like we're gonna escape the rain while we ride it, hopefully. Not much shelter while you wait around here, I would say. So hopefully it doesn't lash down.
despite the vast distance between us, our two galaxies are actually moving closer to each other. Help expands and our city outward, enabling easy circulation of goods here. As the capital of the Nova Empire, Zandar is home to over 12 billion citizens. Zandar is the capital of the Nova Empire, Zandar is home to over 12 billion citizens. 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 I was laughing at it because I'm a fan of the film, so I know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're not a fan of the films, you won't get it. Even if you don't know the films, like we don't, don't it was films. still amazing. It's an easy, simple storyline to follow. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah, really good. The technology and everything, phenomenal. What are you doing, Andrew? Well, it was so good. I went on and I just, there's a lightning lane available right now, and I'm like $17. For the hours and hours of time I'll spend doing it again <laughs> on another day. It's a bit of a YOLO sort of moment. I, I, I couldn't take it all in, it was extraordinary. And I just want to go through it again. I don't care if my head is aggled, I want to see it again. Yeah, it was a really good ride. But then another thing with Disney is you yeah. make you want to spend your money, don't you? And can I just say as well? Yeah. A pint of Duff beer was $15 <laughs> and I know what I'd rather spend it on. <laughs> there you go. So we're going on it again. So Andrew's just putting all the details in now and then we'll go on it again and enjoy it again. So we have just purchased three more Lightning Lanes. They were $17 each, which isn't cheap, but we don't know whether we're going to be back in Epcot again. If we do come back in Epcot, we've got to be here for one o'clock, make sure that you're available. Then you can't just leave the park. You've got to keep an eye on the app. You're in here for like four hours. So for us, we might not get a chance to do it again. It's like, go for it, $17 each, but we're here now
get us on much much quicker yeah. my top tip would be in the rooms that you go into the pr the, the room for the pre-show and in the actual pre-show stay to the right hand side and be aware when those doors open because once you go through that's when the queue starts so try if you can and be on the right hand side of the room you will get onto the ride a bit quicker but that no, was absolutely fantastic well worth it especially yeah, worth being a bit quicker that's how it should be lightning lane should be quicker like that and it was it was pretty much straight on so brilliant and we did get a different song i worried about getting the same song again I would say though that was not as good as the first song. I think it needs to be a faster rock song. Yeah, I do think it needs to be a rockier song. Yeah. Definitely. So we're just uh, looking for Mum, who's been outside waiting for us somewhere. <laughs> Heading out now for a well-deserved break. We'll catch up with you guys when we're going out for dinner. It might be celebration for tea tonight, we'll see. But for now, it's home, chill, shower, regroup. Still going round Guardians in my head, are you? Oh, big time. I'm still on it. Amazing ride. <laughs> Amazing. I've just gone back to Big Bang. <laughs> well, showered and slightly refreshed. Half an hour quick break. And you join us now in Celebration Town. This is where we come for our coffee in the morning. But we're heading to Celebration Town Tavern for dinner. I get to have my black jack chicken hoagie, which I love, with the Boston beans. Might have a cheeky key lime pie for dessert as well. Little treat in here. So this is where we're heading to. Celebration Town Tavern. Free parking outside and a big thunderstorm behind that's about to roll on in. So we'll head on in before it rains. Hopefully get ourselves a table. And we're good to go. Uh, we did park up and uh, we pulled across the road to get a space and a helpful lady did come out and say be very careful parking facing the wrong direction because the police do come down and, and give tickets so something to bear in mind if you're parking anywhere around and about i'd say the whole of orlando or florida make sure you park the right facing the right way she did say the police come down and give tickets if you park facing the wrong way something to uh, bear in mind This is what I'm going for, the blackjack chicken hoagie, Cajun grilled chicken in a hoagie roll, which is lovely, the bread with melted cheddar. And then I'm going to go for, I think, a key lime pie, but the Chardelli chocolate fudge brownie sounds good too. So here we go, here's my blackjack chicken hoagie roll with the Boston beans. This is gorgeous, Cajun chicken in there. Then we've got Laura's Philly steak, which is what Laura actually had last time with some coleslaw. Mum, you've gone for a Philly chicken. Looks nice, that. And Dad's got his large Boston scrolls. Which, to be fair, if everyone with the sounds horrible does this scrolls, it's very much like hard. Yeah. You it's love it, don't you? But they bring it in from Boston. Yeah, yeah. It is fresh, very fresh in here. Dig in, I love it. I can smell the beans already. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Every single bite. Dad loved his fish. Didn't even put any tartar sauce on or anything. Just straight up. Take back what I said. Yeah. Those who like fish, you don't like it too fishy, like have a place. You know, this is just nicer than cod. Absolutely. You said the best fish and chips you've ever had. Ever. I mean that. Ever. I do like it. He, he has that every time he comes. How's your sandwich going, Mum? Bit big? Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> Laura, steak going well? Lovely, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, definitely mine and Dad's favourite restaurant. Look, I could eat them till the cows come home and you could do it with the fish, could couldn't you? Them. Easy. Before we go back to UK, I am back for that. Yeah. Absolutely. Even if I'm on my own. Even if it's for lunch or something. Yeah. Had no key lime pies in uh, Town Tavern, so we've come to Krispy Kreme to get a couple of fresh donuts. 
since I couldn't get the ones I wanted in the supermarkets. Here it has some amazing ones. These are the ones I love, just the chocolate glaze or the chocolate glaze with sprinkles. They're my favourites. So that is going to be it for that vlog. I am ending it again the following day. We did come in and absolutely crash, but really, really enjoyed celebration there to round off the day. It was a busy day, a busy day of new things. Guardians of the Galaxy, absolutely amazing. It is a must do for sure. If you can do the lightning lane, you will save a lot of time. You'll save a lot of waiting around and you'll stop it dictating your day because you can't just sort of come back at a, a guaranteed time. So it does mean you've got to hang around Epcot a bit. If you're up for that, then that's fine. But if you don't want to be hanging around, you want to get on it quicker, then I'd definitely just go straight for the lightning lane and forget the the virtual queue line. But that was brilliant. Uh, Velocity Coast, a bit too intense for mum and dad. I did think they would enjoy it. They actually said Velocity Coaster, they think, is more intense than Hulk, which I completely disagree with. Completely. I'm not sending them on Hulk to let them see the difference. Jeez. Uh, but no, good to take them on. They can say they've done it. They did love Guardians. It uh, just sent my, my mum's head a little bit. She loved it, but not enough to go and do it straight away again because um, it would have sent her head. But love that. And I love the, the different options of music as well. You don't know what you're going to get and... Yeah, it's really good ride. Very cleverly done. Uh, that is going to be it from uh, me. Please do hit the thumbs up button. Uh, drop your comments below. What did you think was the best part of the day? What did you think of Lightning Lane? Is it worth it? Have you done it with Lightning Lane or are you completely uh, against it? I don't agree with it. I don't think they should be charging. But in this case, in this situation with mum and dad being here, we've come all the way from Tenerife. Uh, mum and dad have made all the effort to be in the park. They were knackered. It's a case of... For the $50 for three people, just get in there and get it done. Because to do all that again, to do it, to do the ride another day is just too much. So uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. A big welcome. There is loads of uh, Florida vlogs on the way. Florida vlogs. Vlogs. And uh, thank you very much. Stride on.